is this a fight between Ganduje and Kwan Kwanso? I say when it ripens, no, because you will be the first person to Just for a moment, yes. just for a moment. If you go let's to Kano, not, let's, let's, just for a moment, let's not divert from moment, what brought me And here. I'm mentioning names now because there is a Kwan Kwanso in the mix, which you, you have mentioned in Kano. We know for sure that there is an opposition, which is a, form, a former governor and the national chairman of the APC, Dan Duje. Uh, is it the only opposition you have in Kano? You have some opposition in other places I say, at the national level. Mr. President will know that he has taken a scorpion and put inside his pocket. Who is the scorpion? Ganduje. Why do you call him a scorpion? Is that right to call him it's a former governor? Why? If he can why stink, he if, he, if he can stink his benefactor. Who is that? Senator Rabi Musa Konkoso that next to God, he made him what he is. There is no way that he will not do the same to Tinubu. And Tinubu should know that even as a today, he's been isolated from those under him because they take decisions and ram it on his throat without him really knowing. I am saying this so that he takes note before they throw him under the bus. Let me take you to let's go, let's go to what we let me let me let me for. let me take you up on the Kwanquenso matter and the suspension. Um, yeah. Just today, uh, they they are accusing him of anti-party activities, and you will see. You remember, he met with President Bola Tinubu of the APC. You've seen pictures of him with uh, former Vice President and PDP candidate Atiku Abubakar. Is this enough evidence to show that he's actually involved in anti-party activities? Thank you. Now you are, you are, you are, you are, you are yourself an investigative journalist. <laughs> I like you, Mubakar, Since relevant. you know all Go this. On. Go ahead. Look. The president had tried to see Konkoso on several occasions after the election. It didn't happen. And they agreed to meet in France. Konkoso had to bring the national caucus of the party and told them, look, the president wants to see me. What's your position? Everybody in that meeting, about 13 of us, spoke except myself. Where was the meeting? In Konkoso's house. In Abuja here? Yes. And uh, all of them, except myself, I didn't speak, not because I didn't support, but because I know what was happening. So it's, for, it's better for others who didn't have the privilege of knowledge of what is happening to, to make their opinion known. And each and every member of that national caucus said, why don't you go and hear Mr. President out? So, to cut a long story short, they met in France. They agreed to work together to uplift Nigeria and said they should come back and talk and, 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 and carry their constituency along. They never met until the second time. The second time they met was when demolitions of Ganduja's properties. It's not the property of Kano people that was being demolished. And Ganduja is a devil. Sorry, that's, that's, that's quite extreme. You, so I withdraw. Uh, I, put, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's extreme. I, I withdraw. But when you, when you let the bullet, it's very difficult for you to catch it. Hmm. Because I wonder, I wonder why you, you lose God to have described someone because as a devil. Because I am, I am, I am, I am in tension. Because I have already reasoned that I have very little time left to live on this earth. And I can't see the Nigeria I had all my life, over 70 years, worked to see working well for you and me and our children. I'm frustrated that only bad people succeed. So, Konkoso came to him 
and said, look, this demolition, look at this, look at this, this look at this place. The company belongs to so-so-so. -so. Look at the CSE board of directors, Ganduja's people. Look at this plot demolished or this property demolished. Look at the owners, all of them linked to Ganduja. But it doesn't mean that he owns them. They might be friends, family members, or those who are related to him in one way or the other. Does it mean that he owns all of them? That may not be factual, isn't it? To say that Ganduja owned all of the houses or the, the, uh, the properties that are being did, demolished did, did, in Kano. Did, 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 did we say your name was there? I'm, t I'm saying. I said, did we say your name was just there? A moment. I'm, I'm just asking. Because, no, no, I'm not. We are not quarreling. No, I'm not after all with friends, you. So I'm just saying that we have to be factual on the program and what I, we tell I Nigerians. I say, I say, I say. If you say that Ganduje own all the properties that are being demolished, can, could that be factual? That's I the say, question. I say, I say, is, was your name there? Why wasn't your name among those that whose properties were demolished? I don't own a property in Kano. Thank so. you. Thank you. So, he explained to Mr. President the situation, what is happening. And uh, the president said, oh, sorry, I didn't know that it is like this. That after all, I gave instructions, but that will be stopped. I don't want to mention what instruction. And they went ahead and started what they were doing. Well, sir, Hold on. You, you, I, I, I want, no, no, I'd like to ask a question at this point. Then the, was a plan? You know, he met, you know, he met, he met, he met, he met, he met Mr. President three times. The last time he met Mr. President was that we wrote a letter to Mr. President. We, NNPP, wrote a letter to Mr. President that this is the rumors we are hearing and that you are people in Kano, this is what they say on radio, this is what they say in the social media, that irrespective of our clear victory in Kano that cannot be controverted in any court of law, they still say Kano is too large to be left in the hands of an opposition party. Therefore, they will take it by force as they had done in 2019. So that's a big fear for your side. If you, are, if you are in my shoes, what would be your position? Has there been a conversation with the president and Mr. Kwam Kunso about making Kwam Kunso a member of President Tinubu cabinet? Member, I mean. Yes, member. no. Yes, no. Yes, in the sense that he was supposed to be a minister. And no? No, because of... It was dropped later on. If they said they will work together, working together entails anything or nothing. I can work together with you. So, now we are working together because so, we, are, we are having a conversation. So the alliance between Bola Tinobu and Kwankoso has fallen. It's not alliance. Kwankoso is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a nationalist, patriotic Nigerian who means well for this country.